So, I like emojis. Skadoosh! Ha <laughs> ha! You can probably guess. And I like the Bible. Again, you can probably guess. But what would happen if you mix both of them together? What up guys and welcome to the Not So Miserable News. This is the show where I talk about stuff that isn't boring and depressing. Man, I need to change that because this story is just weird. Like, <laughs> weird. Now for those people who aren't familiar with what the Bible is, it is the holy book used within Christianity. Very much like the Quran is with Islam and the Book of Mormon is with the Mormons. But they're completely different. Don't compare them. They are so different. Why did I just compare them? I just compared them. Why? But there are hundreds upon hundreds of different translations of the Bible. I mean, there's 107 translations of the Bible in English. And emojis, well, you, you know what they are. Girls love emojis, but there aren't enough emojis to say what girls do. That's just how things are. At puberty, girls' confidence plummets. So what does it say when even emojis limit them to stereotypes? Oh, just shut up. Well, we can now add another one to that list of English translations because we now have the Bible in emojis. In an article published by the Metro last week entitled, In the Beginning, God created the earth and the emoji. Well, it's meant to say in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, but that's, that's none of my business. Just lazy journalism. The paper revealed a complete overhaul of the iconic scriptures, which was aimed at giving it a very modern 21st century update. But that's 3,300 pages of emoji. Do you not get how ridiculous that is? Obviously the author only had good intentions whilst writing the Emoji Bible, but evidently he knew that he was gonna rustle a few feathers because when asked whether or not he wanted to disclose his name, he refused to do so. Instead, he preferred to be called that. The cool dude with sunglasses. Memorable, I know. Now I've got a few verses here just to give you an exact example of what our world is threatened by. So first up, we've got Romans 10, verse 11. I actually meant to say Romans 10, 13. I do apologize for misquoting the Bible. Basically a heretic now. This is what it's meant to say. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is what the emoji Bible says. Wave your hand at bearded yellow thing, rainbow. Ah, <sighs> that makes sense, doesn't it? <sighs> oh, even better. Praise be to God, it's now wavy yellow hands be to yellow thing with a halo on its head. I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get, I don't get how that is meant to say praise be to God. This is depressing. It's actually depressing. People are going to read this and they're going to, oh no. <laughs> and now we have the famous one. We have John chapter three, verse 16, the verse of which many Christians this is the one they know. This is the important one. This is what it's meant to say. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. This is what the Emoji Bible has turned it into. Four didn't even use the word. They used the number. They used the number four. They didn't even, didn't even give it the respect that it needed. Didn't even give it a, a simple word. For yellow man with a halo, so loved, loved, yeah, lots of, lots of love. Loved the planet. What side of the planet is that? That is America. So thanks, Emoji Bible. You're, you're telling me that God only loves North America and South America. It's probably true. Probably true. Why would you want to love the rest of the world? We're stupid. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have... Life, that really hurts my insides. I think you, you get the gist. I would personally prefer to read it as it's written down on paper, but I can't really say this from a young person's perspective because I'm not that young. I'm, I'm 18, but I, I, I'm not considered young. I'm considered old now. Besides, I don't send texts like this. I mean, what, what does that say? That, that makes no sense. Oh, my brain. But if you want to download this wonderful intellectual piece of writing, then feel free to go ahead and do so. It's available for download on iTunes for $2.99, which if I'm correct is two pounds one pence in sterling. 
Anyways, that's all I've got to say regarding the Emoji Bible, because I don't want to do a rant about it, because I may offend someone who actually likes the idea of having emojis in the Bible. I genuinely fear for humanity. Ugh. Until next time, this has been the Posh White Kid. Bye! I can't even be bothered to do that. I can't even be bothered to do that. Ah, oh, the Emoji Bible. No.